Hi guys and welcome to a new video, so today I got the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus here with me and today we are going to take a look at the final Android Pie, Android 9 for the Samsung Galaxy S9, S9 Plus and the Note 9. So guys, first of all, this year is a really, really big update. So um, this update here is called One UI for the Samsung Galaxy uh, for the Samsung Galaxy devices, and it brings a completely new interface. And this basically means that all of the interface has got changed. So there are a lot of new features, a lot of new designs out there. And um, this is also reason why I can't show you everything, but I'm going to try to show you most of the new features and most of the things which have um, been changed. And um, yeah, so now let's start. So right guys, so I will directly start with the home screen here. So you can see that the home screen has not got a big change, so you can see um, at the first look that your icon have been changed, you can see there is uh, there are new icons, the camera is uh, red now, the internet browser has got a new icon, the dialer, and basically all other um, icons, which all other Samsung apps, so you can see um, the clock app, the contacts app, the gallery app is also red now, and so on, so there are new icons out there. Something which is uh, strange is that the Samsung Music icon is still the one of Android Oreo, but I'm also sure that they will change this one with uh, an update. So you can see the, um, the launcher looks quite similar, so the only change which you can see is at the top, so you got your finder, and they made the Finder look like Android Nougat again, so together with Android Oreo we had a normal line over there, but together with Android Pie we uh, got our search field back, so this is basically almost the same which we had in Android Nougat on the S8 with uh, Samsung Experience. So this was everything in the launcher, so they are not big changes, um, you can see you still got your menu over here and something which is not that nice is that if you have turned on the night mode in Android Pie, you can see that um, the, the font is not that bright, so it is not easy to read, especially these um, things there are really really hard to read so you can read it from this camera here but in real life it's not easy to read to be honest um, but right now let's go to the settings or now let's go to the um, notification panel first you can see that the notification panel has also got a really really big redesign um, it looks like the one on Android Marshmallow again so we got our rounded um, toggles over there and you can and you still can put down twice and you can see that your toggles are at the bottom now so now it's much easier to reach all of these toggles with one hand and you also got your clock um, which is much 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 bigger than bigger than the one on Android Oreo um, you still have your uh, night mode available here so which was also present in the beta so you can turn it on or turn it off um, as you can see it works really really fast so there's also something called um, navigation bar so you can basically enable or disable your navigation bar and if you disable it you will basically enable the um, the gestures so swiping up from the middle will be your home button swiping up from the right will be your your back button and swiping up from the left will basically be your recent app skin you can also see that there's a really nice animation so this is really really nice and um, yeah this is the notification panel so as you can see um, the way it works is still the same it has only got a new look there so now let's go to the settings from here um, so you can see that the settings that the settings have a big empty area here so you can see it says settings in German there um, this is the design of one UI so this will allow you to use your phone with one hand so you can see that if you have your phone on your right hand you can reach to the network connection here much easier than it is on the top so it's much easier to press here than there um, this is the main reason why they have um, added this blank field over there, but you can still scroll up to have your full screen settings. 
So Samsung has also added uh, bubbles over here, so you can see that the connections um, category has got one single bubble and the sounds and the notifications has got um, a bubble. So you can see that they are categories which are in the same bubble. This um, is really really nice, so you can find your category which you, are, uh, which you want to go in much easier. And this is also something which they have uh, reordered together with the uh, last beta in the uh, beta program. So the um, connections button used to be together with these three here, but now the connections button is standing alone there. So this here makes much more sense. And um, yeah. A new feature which they have added to the settings is the reduce animations um, thing there and the advanced features. So if you turn off this one here or if you turn it on, it will basically reduce your animation. So this will make your phone run a bit faster and um, you won't see these animations which you may hate. So um, this is a nice feature if you want to use your uh, phone much faster and if you don't want to wait for these animations. So something else which have uh, which has changed is in the device care thing here. So you can see you got a completely new device care uh, section over here. So this has this basic um, one UI look. But if you go to the memory section here, you can see that the system uses like half of the RAM, which is standard. It was the same on Android Oreo. But the thing which has been changed here is that the system has only got 500 megabytes reserved for itself. So in Android uh, Oreo, it was almost one gigabyte. And together with um, Android Pi, the system only um, the system has only got 500 megabytes reserved for itself. So you get 500 uh, megabytes more RAM together with Android Pi on the S9 Plus. Of course, uh, this number can vary on the Samsung Galaxy S9, which has got 4 gigabytes of RAM in total, but um, I'm pretty sure that on the S9 you will also get much more RAM together with um, the Android Pi updates. Right, after we have talked about the RAM, after we have talked about the settings, now let's go to the um, so the recent app section so you can see you got a completely new recent app section which is uh, not the best if you ask me so um, you got your list view just like in um in stock Android, but the thing is that the Samsung list view is not there anymore. So you only got this one uh, this UI here and you don't have your um list view which you had on android oreo if you can remember it and another bad thing here is that you all you can only see one app at the same time so you can see we have opened the device care app over here and you can't even see the label you can only see the icon of it which is also really sad um but you can only see one app and you don't know which app is opened on the left and on the right. So on Android Oreo, you were able to see four apps at the same time without scrolling. So here you have to scroll in order to find out which app, uh, which apps you have opened in the background. So this is not that nice. And if you ask, if you ask me, this here is much, much, much harder to use because, for example, you don't know which app this is. So this is not nice Samsung. Um, and as I've said before, you don't have your um, list view. So this is also something which is not that nice. And there are also a few problems. So if you open WhatsApp, for example, or Telegram, okay? If you go to a chat, and if you go to the recent app section, you can see that the uh, area where the keyboard used to be is white. So here will stay blank, which basically it does not look that nice. We got the same problem together with the camera. So you can see this here is the camera. And if we go to the recent app section, you can see that the camera um, thumbnail is completely dark. So this is not that nice. But something which is nice here, the only thing which is nice is that you have your settings here. And here you can enable the suggested apps. So you can see you got four apps and um, you can open these apps which you have opened before. So this is a nice feature, but I personally don't use it. Right guys, so the last uh, nice feature which I want to talk about in Android Pie is the rotation feature. So as you can see, I have turned off the rotation uh, icon there in the quick settings. You can see it says portrait over there. Um, and a really nice thing is that if you go to the settings, for example, and rotate your screen, even though um, screen rotation is turned off, you will get this 
small circle thing there and you can press on it to um, go to landscape mode even though auto rotation was turned off. So this will allow you to rotate your screen even though screen rotation, rotation is turned off. So you don't need to worry about your um, screen rotation setting anymore, which is really, really nice. Another nice thing about the landscape mode in Android Pie or in this special update here is that Samsung has added the uh, multitasking view in landscape modes now. So um, this here was not present in the other betas which we had uh, for the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Um, so there were only this normal horizontal view and now they've also added this um, vertical view for the landscape orientation. Another thing which is quite disappointing in Android uh, Pie is the volume panel. So you can see this is the volume panel. It looks a bit different than the one in Android Oreo. So you can see it isn't full screen anymore and you don't have this arrow to expand your volume panel. So in order to expand it, you need to open your volume panel with your volume yorkers and then you need to pull it down by yourself to get it expanded. Um, so you, this is a feature you may like, you may not like. So now you need to expand it by yourself. And yeah, as you can see, the volume panel is also half transparent now, semi transparent. Um, if you ask me, it doesn't look that nice to be honest. And in dark mode, it looks even worse. You can see it looks gray. I don't know. I don't like it. You may like it. I basically don't like this that much. It would have been better if they would um, add this volume panel by the sides just like in stock Android Pie, but they haven't, and yeah. So another thing where a lot of people have complaints about is in the recent app section. So I have told you already that the recent app section is really, really hard to uh, use just because you can only see one app at the same time and you don't know which app is opened on the left and on the right. Um, but there's another issue too. So if we open the dialer, for example, and if we go to the recent app section, you can see that the recent app section will scroll to another app which you had opened before. So this is something which a lot of people may find useful, but I'm pretty sure that there are also a lot of people who don't like this. And Samsung is not providing you an option to turn this here off. So this is something which really, really sucks if you ask me, because in um, the Good Luck app on Android Oreo, we also had this um, problem and Samsung had provided us an option to turn this off and now there is no option anymore. So if you are here, if you go to the recent app section, it will always scroll to the app which you had before, uh, opened before and this is something which really, really sucks if you ask me. Right guys, so the apps are the last thing I want to talk about and, and uh, about Android Pie. So you can see all of the uh, system apps have got a uh, new icon. So I want to start with the dialer. You can see the dialer looks quite similar to um, the one in Android Oreo with the only change that the um, tabs are at the bottom now. So they uh, these tabs here used to be at the top and now they are at the bottom. And this here has a simple reason. Um, if the tabs are at the bottom, they are basically much easier to reach than if they were at the top. So this is um, the design language of Android Pie of One UI and you can also find this design in all other apps. If you go to the clock app for example, you can see that your tabs are also at the bottom but something which I think is really strange is that you still have a lot of elements which are at the top. So One UI has a few issues there and also this clock here is also at the top it could have been at the bottom here i don't know why they have made a lot of issues there but yeah i'm pretty sure that they will improve this with uh, future updates so the last thing i want to talk about is the camera so you can see the camera has got a um, red icon now so it looks much different and you can also see that the camera ui itself has also got a big 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 redesign so you can see instead of the number now we got trees for some reason there um this is basically your zoom control so if you press on this one here it will zoom um, twice you it will use its optical zoom and you cannot press on these double trees to uh, zoom out so this is something which is really really useless if you ask me i mean using trees instead of a number but um yeah so you can also see that there's a small problem with this bottom here so you can see i've disabled the navigation bar and now there's a big blank bar there so you they could take all of these and 
take this um, at the bottom, but they haven't. So you can see if I turn on the navigation bar, there is no um, blank bar. But if I turn off the navigation bar, there is a useless blank bar, which doesn't look that nice. But yeah, they've also removed the feature to um, zoom with your shutter there. I'm pretty sure that almost nobody used this feature um, and they've made the menu look like iOS so you can see you have your photo and in order to go to a different um, mode you basically need to scroll here and here you are in the video so this is also something which I personally don't like that much because you need to scroll before you can take a video so together with um, Android Oreo the interface was much 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 better um, they have removed Bixby Vision and the AR emoji at the top now and um, your settings here has also got a new look just like in one UI. So this here is the camera UI um, and um, yeah so in general if you ask me um, one UI has brought you a completely new um, design and you may like it, you may not like it, you may get used to it, you may not get used to it. I personally am not happy together with this update, to be honest. Um, there are a lot of things which, which really, really suck, especially the recent app section. And, um, and also these round corners everywhere. I basically don't like it that much. So it's just a uh, question of your taste. And yeah. So this was my uh, review about Android 9, Android Pie 1 UI on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. If you liked this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a dislike. As always, and peace out.